Uh, one way to understand these emerging technologies is to look at the underlying um, uh, languages, and such as Java, this pen. Um, another one of those that's driving a lot of change is Flash on the web, that combined with broadband. And an example of that is Kerpoof, and we're going to end with a poof, uh, <laughs> with Krista Marks. Uh, pay close attention to some of the techniques that you see. Thank you so much, Warren. So Kerpoof is an internet destination site for kids that focuses on creativity. And the way it strives to make meaning in the world is perhaps best captured by something Mitch Resnick said. Um, Mitch is from the MIT Media Lab, and he wrote it in a paper. In fact, we all know it as a Sesame Street game. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. And the three things that Mitch presents are the computer, the paintbrush, and the TV. And everyone immediately thinks that the paintbrush is the thing that doesn't belong because computers and TVs, well, they seem alike. They have screens. They both place videos. But why isn't the obvious analogy between computer and paintbrush? In fact, why don't we view computers as paintbrushes? They are both powerful tools for creative expression and design. And this is exactly what Kerpoof does. And the best way to explain that is just to show you how. This was a picture created on Kerpoof. That would be the picture on the right. <laughs> uh, and, and obviously, it's a, it's a very literal analogy between Kerpoof and the paintbrush. Um, it actually is also one of my favorites. So let me make it more real by giving you a demo. Kerpoof, um, as Warren alluded to, is entirely done in a browser using Flash. There's nothing to download. There's no software. So this is going to be a recording of me using the drawing program in Kerpoof. And the first thing I want you to notice is that it will automatically smooth this curved line. If I draw a star, it will detect the shape and make a star. I can make more complex shapes out by building them out of pieces. And intuitively, I can grab that line, flip it, and copy it. And then the eraser will actually let me just erase part of the line so I can make a really pretty heart. And now Kapoof actually recognizes that as a new shape. And I can, again, move that and then copy it, duplicate it to make three heart balloons. And last, I'm going to fill those. And I'm going to choose transparent color because they're balloons. Um, when I'm done, I can save it to kerpoof.com, which means I can access it from anywhere. It also means that um, I can share it with others. This is stuff that kids have created on Kerpoof. And once we've reviewed and approved it, um, it they've actually shared it. And once things are shared, kids can actually give them uh, the works of art gold stars. In fact, these are two avatars of real kids who have earned a huge number of stars for the art that they've shared. And kids are actually creating amazing stuff on Kerpoof. This is just some of the examples of what kids are doing with the drawing program. But you can do more than just draw on Kerpoof. You can also create animated movies. And so let me show you a demo of that, how you make an animation in Kerpoof. The first thing that you do is you pick a storyline from a number of different storylines. And then you pick a background, a scene. And what you get is the Kerpoof movie editor. And this is where you're going to create a program to do your animation. Now, to make this cat move is easy. I simply place a point, and then I drag his move method to the timeline to get him to move to that point. And I can do other things that happen concurrently. So I might have him talk while he walks. I might add a soundtrack. I might add. Uh, special effects. And in fact, while kids are doing this, they're learning some basic programming constructs. This is partially funded by the National Science Foundation for that specific purpose. Now, when I'm done, I can play it in full screen mode and see a preview. So let's watch that. And like the drawing I showed you, now what I can do is save it to kaboof.com, and I can share it. In fact, here's a movie that was created by Coco, uh, Crunch Saves the Day. Uh, I could play that movie. I could then vote on it. I could give it stars. If I wanted to see what else Coco had done, I could, I could hit on uh, more. And I could see what else she's done. I could also see her cute avatar with her pink updo. And now kids not only can use their computers to watch videos like The Lamb Before Time, but they can actually create their own. And they can not only read books like The Three Little Pigs, but they can write and illustrate their own version. So when the wolf says, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, 
Maybe instead the piggy says, oh, stop you windbag, come in for a cup of tea. Anyways, I hope this gives you a taste of Kerpoof and how it strives to be a broad literary platform for reading and writing, technical fluency, creative expression, and uh, most importantly, to be fun. Um, oh good, one minute, good, I'm, I'm just like really close to done. Uh, and, I, and I'm really, it's important that it's fun. In fact, I love this quote uh, in, the, in the new uh, Cooney Center Challenge paper that actually suggests that maybe what fun is is uh, our, our response to learning, our human response to learning. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. And just so you know that it's kerpoof. There's a way of saying it that sounds cool. And you definitely want to sound cool. It's not kerpoof, like I said. So I'm trying to learn that. Thank you for bringing up Mitch Resnick's work. Um, I think that he's an important force right now, and with Scratch and so on, and the power of creativity that we're seeing here. Thank you, panel, for wonderful examples of uh, state of the art. Uh